or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kia, if you're new here. I'm here at the gym. We're about to do a glute workout. I'm so excited. It's my last day of the week working out, so we're gonna get this game. So I'm gonna stretch and get started. Let's go. I'm wearing the old set top, just go with gray shorts that I had, but they're sold out and then my favorite black shorts. So it's gonna be a great leg pump. Let's go. So I started out with some quick dynamic stretches. Typically five to ten minutes. Normally I would, you know, do like a quick warm up with my resistance bands. It just depends. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm at the growth where I'm satisfied. So I just kind of maintain and throw the resistance band in here and there. But yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick warm up before I start lifting. Hope everybody's been doing well. These are a little, they look a little crazy when I do these. I think they make me look a little weird, but I'm opening up my hips now before I get to lifting. These are like hip openers. You can do like alternate with one leg or you can do one leg at a time and then switch over, but it's totally up to you. So I started out with dumbbell squats. I believe the most that I've lifted with these are about 100, but progressive overload, that takes time. I used to start out with like 35s and then I just worked my way up every week. And I mean, if you feel like you can't do progressive overload, which is like increasing your weight, there's another option in that. You can use whatever you can lift and just do more reps. Now I am moving on to my RDLs and in those dumbbell squats, I'm sorry, I did four set of 12. I do up to like 12, 10 to 12. Sometimes I go to a failure and with these, I'm going to do the same four set of 10 to 12. I'm lifting a 70 pound bar, making sure I'm pushing my hips back, keeping the bar close to my legs as possible, back straight. I absolutely do. I love these. I do these in like all my lower body workouts because they really do improve my glutes. So as you can see, I'm using a heavy dumbbell for these hip thrusts. So whenever you find it too hard to like rack up um, a bar or find the machine for the hip thrust, you can use a heavy dumbbell and it'll get the job done. I'm doing four set of 10 of these and I always like squeeze at the top on my last rep and hold for 10 seconds. Making sure my chin is like in my chest, like make sure your chin is down, you're not looking up are in a 90 degree slightly pointing out your legs are in a 90 degree and your feet are slightly pointing outwards and squeeze hold get the job done so here's a quick hack that i found out and I absolutely love for these Bulgarian split squats because you all know sometimes when you first start doing these, even after doing them for a while, trying to get in that position with the split squats can be a little annoying. But I found that you just sit first and then just kind of step back and just go down with the dumbbell. This works for me. And the last exercise for today is going to be the Smith Machine Squats. I am using 225 plates on each side. And I think with these, I'm just going to go, I believe I went until failure. So I just kind of go until I feel like stopping sometimes versus just counting my reps. And also look where I'm placing the bar. 
I know some people may not know this, but you are not supposed to place the bar right directly on your spine. I put it on my back so you will not damage your spine and hurt yourself because that is the worst. And when I used to first start doing squats, I did that. I used to like have it right on my spine, but we all have to learn and grow in our journey. So don't feel bad if this is what you do, but check out where the bar is placed on my back. It's so much more comfortable to control as well. So now that I'm finished, I am going to end my workout with a nice static stretch for about five to 10 minutes. If you have time, always stretch before and after your workouts. It definitely plays a role in your muscle growth and your results. So don't forget to stretch if you can. So I'm just gonna show you guys just a few of the stretches that I like to do at the end of my workouts. But yes, doing these exercises as well as eating the right amount of foods, eating right, making sure I'm getting the right amount of protein intake, as well as just staying consistent, definitely gave me the results I needed when trying to grow my glutes. So I hope you all find this video helpful and are continuing to crush your fitness goals and end the year strong. That's the end of my leg day, glute day. I'm sweaty, as you can see, but it was so good. I had a good pump. I got a good pump. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm about to go get a protein shake, of course. Look at those quads. Like, they are pumped up. Oh my God. Amazing. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. <laughs>